Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Blair. Hello, everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Blair, you can't believe what I did this morning.、Mm -hmm. I made my lunch, but I forgot to bring it to the office. So later, I have to go downstairs and buy something to eat. <laughs> well, I think it's quite normal if you said you did it. That's so typical of you. Hmm. I feel also very unhappy. 而且我感觉最近记忆力真的越来越差了。有时候晚上想中午吃了啥，还真的想半天才想起来。<笑>其实我也有类似这样的情况啊，就有时候路上碰到以前的一个朋友啊，打招呼，半天都想不起来对方的名字，真的挺尴尬的。<笑> yeah, you said it. I really have a terrible memory of names, especially for foreigners. 比如你随便问我一个外国的明星啊，我可能还真的想不出来。<笑> no kidding. So, what's the leading actor's name in the movie Inception? Uh, 盗梦空间的男主角是吧？ Mm -hmm. 这个很简单，小李子嘛。Come on, the English name, of course. Um, Leonardo. Um,、uh, sorry, I forgot that. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. 不错啊，还是想起来前面半部分的。但是真的想生活中碰到这种忘记了要怎么办呢？除了 I forgot， 我们还可以怎么说呢？对，其实还有很多有用的短语可以用起来。那我们今天就通过这期节目一起来学习吧。So first, if you can't remember something temporarily, you can just say I can't think of it right now, or I can't recall it suddenly. Yeah, this means that you know that you know something, but you can't remember it at the moment. 是的，就是暂时的没有想起来嘛，可能待会儿一下就想起来了。<笑>那我们刚刚用到了两个表达，一个是 think of。后面呢是加名词，表达想起的含义啊。For example, I think of you every day, every night, every minute, and every second.、Uh, that's gross. <laughs> Makes my flesh creep to think of it. <laughs> 那我刚刚说的时候，鸡皮疙瘩其实也起来了。Anyway, the other word is to recall. Yeah, it is also to remember something. Like Nora couldn't recall Leonardo's name back then. 是的。还有就是，如果是警察想要采访目击者啊，他们可能就会问 ，Can you recall exactly what happened? Right. 然后在语言当中呢，也有一个现象，就很多时候我们话到嘴边就突然忘记了，这种呢叫做 on the tip of my tongue。没错 ，tip 就是边缘 ，tongue 就是指的舌头，在舌头的边上。It's almost, but not quite, brought to mind or spoken. Exactly, especially for second language learners. I think you all may have experienced this. 是的，对于很多学多种语言的人来说，就很常见。记单词的时候就想起来前面，然后后面就呼之欲出了。Right. Um, so it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. 嗯，那另外一个很实用的表达就是 short memory. For instance, Nora has a short memory. 嗯，是的 ，short 就是形容词，短的，用来形容记忆力，就是表记忆力非常的差，记得时间也很短，像金鱼一样。<laughs> And you can also use other adjectives such as terrible or bad. Those are common collections as well. Yeah. 不过另外呢，还有一种不太一样的忘记的方式 ，it's called in one ear and out the other. 嗯，那这个翻译成中文应该意思就很好猜了，就是一只耳朵进，一只耳朵出。英文其实呢也是有这个习语的。If you say that something you hear goes in one ear and out the other, you mean you quickly forget it. 没错，这种通常就是不太走心吧。对 ，they're inattentive or absent-minded. Right, and this behavior can be quite annoying, but it may also happen to you like when you're in a lengthy meeting that you don't want to be. Then whatever the person on stage tells you seems to go in one ear and out the other. Right. That 就有时候没有办法，就是听不进去嘛。Wait. Oh my God. Do you know that today is Cici's birthday? It totally slipped my mind. Wake up, Nora. Her birthday is on this Saturday. Ah, 什么？看来我又记错了。Mm, anyway, slip 这个单词啊，本意就是滑倒。对，那这个词还是非常实用的啊，它还可以指开溜。比如说 ，Jane slipped out of the office before the others were awake. 嗯，那 slip one's mind 就是指从记忆中偷偷的溜走了，也就是说完全忘了。那这种遗忘啊，就和前面不太一样，就完全没有想起来。<laughs> right. Then we have the phrase "It's just not coming to me." Yeah, this can also mean that you're trying to recall something for a while, 
but you just can't remember what it is exactly. 是的。首先呢 ，come to mind 或者是 bring to mind 可以指突然想起来某件事。Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I bring to mind those wonderful memories, wonderful moments that I have with my cat. 你知道吗？就是我家的旺仔仔啊，就不在我身边，我送回家了。偶尔我看照片啊，就可以想起来他小时候的样子，真的太怀念了。嗯、mm, ，旺仔真的是看照片都感觉可以让人萌化。Okay, so it's just not coming to me. 意思就是咋样都想不起来，这种感受挺让人着急的。<笑> yeah, if this happens to me, I can spend half an hour or even longer to retrieve my memory before it finally brings to my mind. I won't be able to do anything. 嗯，真的是深有体会啊。Okay, so Blair, have you ever experienced this? Hmm.、Mm, you're in the middle of a talk, but all of a sudden you lost your train of thought. So you just get stuck in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, I know what you mean. 这种时候就是紧张的，突然忘记了接下来要说什么。Like, what am I trying to say? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. So you either speak some nonsense or become speechless or just stand there awkwardly. Yeah. 要不就是最后变成说胡话，要不就是呆若木鸡了。对，那这种情况的忘记啊，就是 lose your train of thought. Train of thought 不是思想的货车啊，而是一连串的思路的这个意思。那这个短语呢，就是指没有思路了。嗯，那我们前面其实聊了很多种忘记的方式，接下来就是聊一聊和它相反的含义啊，怎么想起来 ？So the first phrase is to ring a bell. Yeah, let's look at an example first. I don't know the name of the song you just sang. But the melody seems to ring a bell. Yeah, this also happens in life very frequently. 就听到一首歌，感觉旋律是非常熟悉的，但是想不起来名字。那这种耳熟啊，我们用到的表达就是 ring a bell。其实直译就是响铃的含义。Right. It actually means to sound familiar. It reminds you of something, but you cannot remember exactly what it is. 嗯，那其实呢，刚刚也还讲到了另外一个词，就是 remind。它有提醒的含义，但是也是可以代表想起这个意思的。我们经常会用到一个短语，就是 remind somebody of something， 表示让某个人想起某件事情。And you know, Max always reminds me of the character in Zootopia, the one called Flash. <laughs> you said it. 还真的是挺像的啊。They are similar in some ways. <laughs> Flash 就是《疯狂动物城》里面那个闪电啊。Mm-hmm. 那我们看 Max 老师平常在办公室的一些动作，偶尔会觉得很神似。<laughs> 是的，是的。And Colin reminds me of. 熊大就是那个动画片《光头强》里面那个。<laughs> I think we can continue this conversation. Otherwise, if they hear it, they might come to us <laughs> for revenge. You know. Yeah. <laughs> 那其实说到想起啊，还有一个习语 jog one's memory. Jog, like the same word in jogging. 对，就是慢跑 jog 那个单词。But it can also mean to hit something lightly and by accident. So to jog one's memory is to say or do something that makes somebody remember. Ah, I see. 那这个 jog 在这里更多的就是表那种唤起的含义了。Jog one's memory 就是唤起某人记忆，勾起回忆。Do you have something suddenly jogged to your memory before? I guess so. Well. Like I may not remember what I have dreamed until I do something similar in real life. It can jog my memory all of a sudden. <laughs> That's also kind of related to the sense of deja vu, 就是那种似曾相识的感觉啊。嗯。比如昨天我和你去吃饭，我总感觉好像之前经历过这件事情一样。对，我也觉得是的。呃、uh, ，Wait, Blair, your words just jogged my memory. I didn't pay you yesterday for dinner. <laughs> Forget it. It's my treat. Come on, we still have to split the bill. Okay, so it's uh three hundred individually. What? Forget it. I'm not paying. That actually, here, just now, we also talked about a very common usage of the word "forget it." Its meaning is not to forget. When we say this phrase in Chinese, we usually say "never mind." This means when we make a mistake, we say "never mind." When we make a mistake, we say "never mind." When we make a mistake, we say "never mind." When we make a mistake, we say "never mind." When we make a mistake, we say "never mind." For instance, I'm not coming with you, so forget it. 嗯，就是比较生气的时候，也可以表达算了吧，就这样吧，对对吧？好了，那今天呢，其实就学习了各种各样的忘记、记得的表达。虽然是学习的这个主题啊，但是还是希望大家不要真的听到最后就全忘光了。<笑>
。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So, thank you so much for listening. This is Blair. This is Nora. See you next time. Bye. Bye.